This one is a patron vote winner and the theme is fusion and that makes total sense because not only is this song a cover but this voice Bye. is the most versatile fusion voice that I can think of. You've been out riding fences for so long now. Oh, you're hard one. Shivers. I know you got your reasons. These things that are pleasing you hurt you somehow. It's so beautiful. It is so moving and poignant and that is the words of Don Henley who credits Linda for helping popularise this song which was of course an Eagles song. This was a really really early cover of it and it's beautiful. It is much more introspective than the original. It's a little bit more folk, a little bit more country. As we can see it's a fusion blend of all these genres that becomes genreless and I think timeless. You could imagine it coming out right now and being really, really popular. Now there are so many beautiful nuances in her voice and this is partially down to her versatility and we'll talk about what that means in a moment, but let's listen to them. Desperado. Lovely vibrato. Why don't you come to your senses? Why don't you come to your senses? That little flick on you instead of why don't you makes it really, really country. That's a country element. Come to your senses. Letting it fall away and become really breathy makes it feel so vulnerable and really sad. You've been out riding fences oh. so long now. Every line. I ride fences. She's got that lovely open space, and we'll talk about that. But on fences, she adds a bit of cry. And cry is like, if you make this noise, like a little sobbing puppy. Fences. If you add that in there, it sounds like you're weeping or crying and it makes it feel a little bit more emotional. Oh, a oh, little bit on that. I know you got your reasons. These things that are pleasing you hurt you somehow. Phrasing, dynamics. Don't you try. The queen of diamonds, but she beat you, she's able. Mm -hmm. The queen of hearts is always your best friend. Well, it seems to me so fine things have been laid upon your table, but you only want the ones that you can get. She has such beauty and ease on those high notes. They're so full, yet so warm. There's a lot of balance in the frequencies that you're hearing. So it's cutting through, yet it isn't too much. It still has warmth and tenderness in that sound. And this is something that I think comes from her versatility. It's something that you hear in singers like Flora Janssen or Morgan James or Rhiannon Gibbons. They all trained classically or have done some classical training. different style but there are similarities. To sing within a classical style you're more likely to go to open vowels for example using things like ah instead of I for the words I. You're more likely to lower your larynx or have a neutral larynx and raise your soft palate. This gives the effect of darkening the vowels making them sound more warm. However for female singers in classical music you're also more likely to thin out your vocal folds so you get this lighter sound. Linda 
isn't doing that here. Much like Flora, much like Morgan James, they are thickening their vocal folds in the way that you would do in country or folk or rock to give you that kind of belty sound, yet adding that kind of classical positioning that really boosts all the lower frequencies and gives you a big warm sound. That combination is something that is really beautiful and really emotional. It's always your best bet Well, it seems to me so fun Things have been laid upon your table But you only want the ones that you can get Some people talk Well, your prisoners walking through this world all This is such an emotional performance. That's coming from her. You can have all the technique in the world, but you might not be emotional. She has the most incredible control of her voice and another genre that she has sung in is in Latin music and Mexican music which is her heritage and I think that that's interesting as well because a lot of Mexican music stylistically has that amazing combination of the open space of classical music but the thicker vocal folds of pop rock and country Some people talk Well, your prisoners walk through this world all Don't you pick a call in the wintertime Let's hide to get that tone And the sun won't shine It's hard to tell the night time from the day listen to that phrase again because she's moving so quickly between this loud big belty sound and then bringing it back she's really shaping each phrase nothing is the same volume nothing has the same tone the tone is constantly shifting there's actually a little bit of higher larynx in that moment and this again shows her versatility she's moving between different colors because that is what the storytelling requires gonna do a gestural painting of this I guess so you've got don't you pick a call in the winter time sky won't snow and the sun won't shine it's hard to tell the night time from the day I should do a breath Linda Ronstadt learns to sing like this and I've done a bit of research and I've been struggling to find out where I don't know if she's had a lot of singing lessons however I do know that she took massive inspiration from people like Maria Callas in fact she said there's no one in her league that's it I learn more about singing rock and roll from listening to Maria Callas records than I ever would from listening to pop music for a month of Sundays she's the greatest female singer ever she also says that she has to curtsy to people like Ella Fitzgerald and Billie Holiday and they're both singers who are amazingly technically able but also have that emotional storytelling aspect and I feel like she really understands that. It's rare to hear a voice that can be versatile and understand music on so many levels whether it's the emotion, the technique, she she has it all. <laughs> And 
Uh, different types of vibratos. That's interesting. So, Desperado. Why don't you come to Why don't you? Come down from your I want to listen to this in bit one swave, but let's talk about. I kind of mentioned this, but the R E vowels. So there's I or Y. She is completely morphing them to an R vowel. So Y E would be R E, a diphthong, two vowels. Whereas she's making it one. That makes it much more open. It's often used in classical singing as well to keep that lovely open space. It may be raining, raining, but there's a rainbow above. You better let somebody love you. You better let somebody love you. Before oh, I <laughs> you. got me you've, you've got me there's a reason that I'm really sad about this I'm gonna to go to the technical stuff before I talk to the sad about the sad part there's some beautiful vowel shaping let somebody and you see how she really drops that jaw instead of let somebody like we would say it that opening of the jaw allows that warmth it just hits you emotionally. But there's this other reason that it's hitting me emotionally and Linda Ronstadt doesn't sing anymore. Recently she was diagnosed with a disease similar to Parkinson's disease and because of the loss of control in her muscles, it also affects the muscles in the vocal folds. Now I can't even really, I can't even sing in the shower. Do you try? Yeah, but then it doesn't, I can't make sound, you can't, I can't. My vocal cords won't make the repetition. This is a really common symptom of Parkinson's and other degenerative brain diseases. On the opposite side, she has had this full life where she has sung every genre under the sun and um, we've been blessed. You better let somebody love you. Here we go. And that full body control, you can see it. At the end there, you could really see how she was using her full body to support her breath. It's amazing control. So she's not just singing with her voice. She's singing with her full body and her full heart and soul. Before you go, I have just released my very own album, Fable. It's available on my website and a few songs are available here on YouTube and on Spotify. And I would love if you could go and check them out. But for the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.